It's like the cheapest town. It's like they haven't heard about anything happening outside of Florence. It's amazing. <laughs> So we are finally going to find out what the Oregon coast has to offer. We, Look at these dudes! <laughs> uh, we just left Eugene and we were looking for cooler weather again. 73 degrees today. This is Nobelli's Crab Hut. It's just off the pier in Florence. He's sold out today. He just got his shipment of crabs in. So we're going to come back at 11 tomorrow and try and get some. We came too late. It's 5.30. We're going to try and come back at 11 a.m. If we can find sleeping here. If not, so sad. Live crab, he just got out of the freaking water right now. Look how busy it is. Coming back tomorrow, 11 a.m. So we have come to Florence, Oregon, knowing absolutely nothing, Zero. but the weather is beautiful. There's a cute little old town. We might be able to find a place to crash tonight. So we're gonna give it a little tour and see what it's about. to not eat hot dogs tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this place is amazingly affordable. I have no idea why. It's this quaint little town on the coast of Oregon and everything is 20 bucks yeah. or less. <laughs> so we are gonna take advantage of the potential savings and we are gonna- a good meal. <laughs> yeah, we are gonna pick a restaurant to eat at tonight. So come along with us. So we're at Bridgewater Ocean Fresh Fish House and Zebra Bar. And we got the salmon sandwich because we walked by and it looked bomb. And we got some old Rasputin. Old Rasputin for five bucks. We got this awesome salmon sandwich. It's like fresh sourdough bread, avocado, all the toppings. This looks amazing. It's really messy. It's kind of hard to keep together. It is awesome. The salmon is cooked perfect. Four fifty. How big it is in my hand. Dude. <laughs> it's like the cheapest town. It's like they haven't heard about anything happening outside of Florence. Inflation? It's amazing. Out of here. <laughs> um, we are set up for the evening in a very public lot. I have no pants on. This is doing the pants off dance off. <laughs> And we're going to call this good. Here's good. <laughs> we are by the beach, though. It's kind of cool. We have a beer. And we might get kicked out. So we just woke up in this nice little parking lot here. Right on the beach. A few van lifers. There's a bathroom, which is cool overnight. We are going back to Novelli's to try and get some crab. So we were getting coffee this morning at Bridgeport Market. Uh, we found this place yesterday. It's super cool, super affordable. They do sandwiches, they have snacks and things like that. They actually sell packaged liquor and allow you to drink them on their patio. So it's a super affordable way to have like a glass of wine and a snack while you take in the views of the bay. So everything is basically by weight. Uh, the smallest crab that they had was a pound and a half. And since we're on a budget, we only got one, but there's a perfect whole crab for us to share. It's pre-steamed. We want the works for an extra three bucks. That comes with some house-made cocktail sauce, some drawn butter, as well as some lemon. I have no idea how to eat this, so it might be a scene. There's a crab. Oh, nice. Oh, I love that. <laughs> It's delicious. We've also gotten some of this uh, 
mom's garlic bread. It's so good. It's like pillowy, full of garlic. So soft, the sourdough is fresh. It goes great with the crab. We just realized that this is a floating restaurant. <laughs> the wake is coming in and the entire structure is just rocking back and forth as we're eating our crab. <laughs> this is an excellent like breakfast. <laughs> get here. As the butter cools, it gets thicker, so you get more like on each bite. Like the crab holds more, <laughs> it's so good. Everyone's getting the, the clam chowder, which we're still clam chowdered out from Monterey. <laughs> but come here, get the crab. I haven't seen anyone else get the crab. It's not that hard to crack. It's not that hard to eat. It's bomb. Yeah, bomb. It is com. amazing. We're doing a Hobbit trail. Don't know anything about it. We're hiking dunes. Don't know anything about those. I know there's a lighthouse. Brandon loves the lighthouse. <laughs> parked just off the freeway we're headed to hobbit beach trailhead we didn't download a map so we don't know where we're going yeah i don't know i didn't do any research it says hobbit so i'm imagining there's gonna be like a little house or something <laughs> i don't, also don't know what a hobbit is this is impossible Ret <laughs> retreat, <laughs> retreating, retreat. <laughs> this is a bad idea. This is a terrible idea. <laughs> Here. What's she doing? I think that's for kids or something. There's plenty of room on this trail. I don't know what she's doing up there. This is fun. I do feel like a hobbit. Whoa. I guess this is it, huh? This is a cool little, oh look, you get the, the ocean too. Oh, wow. A crab graveyard? Oh, whoa, are those crabs? Yeah, bro, we ate them this morning. Is that what we had for breakfast? Oh, yeah. No meat left, though. Look huh? there. I wonder who gets them. Raccoons or something? Weird. We have explored the tide pools, and now we're gonna go see a lighthouse. So I was just texting with one of my college coaches, and he lives an hour and 15 minutes south of here in Coos Bay, and he said that we can crash with him tonight. 
So I think we are gonna head south for one night and catch up with my boy Mike Main and his wife Patty. We're on a half a mile trail to some sort of lighthouse. Uh, lighthouses are usually pretty foggy and you normally can't see anything. We were going to make ham sandwiches, but our bag leaked and all of our ham got messy. So now tuna and Caesar salad wraps. Oh well. Now we are at the John Dellenbach Dunes Trail. 5.5 miles uh, out to the dunes. We'll go play in the water, play on the dunes. Again, we don't know much more. Yeah. Here we go. Let's hit it. You know what they say, yeah. immediately after eating, exercise. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be a common motif. We're like hiking around and then we'll stop for food, stuff our faces, and then hit the trail a minute and a half later. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, in October 10th, we are flying to England where we will be staying with our friends Chaz and Lindsay. And we'll, we will be in Europe for three months time. Yeah, through New Year's. Yeah, and so all of this nature stuff is amazing. All of the hikes are good, but we're really just gearing up for Our Europe, Europe steps. Europe steps. We don't really know where we're going in Europe. We know that we're gonna call London our home base, but we don't wanna overstay our welcome with our friends. So we will be periodically just kind of jet setting when we can find really cheap flights to places that have a little bit more affordable accommodations. And cool Christmas markets. And cool Christmas markets. Uh, if you have any recommendations of places in Europe that are relatively affordable and you would like us to go, drop us a comment and we'll see if we can make it happen for you. Our budget for the first three months is $82 a day. We calculated $30,000 if we spent $82 a day, that's a whole year. We've been pretty good under budget, but we're obviously gonna have to up the budget when we go to Europe. But the idea is after Europe, we can come back and go to Mexico and then the budget will be back lower. Yeah. So I know what you're thinking, like $82 a day. There's no way you're going to be able to do Europe on $82 a day. Budget in Europe would probably be more like $102 a day, which sounds low, but like for us, it's yeah. way doable. This place reminds me of White Sands National Park in New Mexico and our dog who just passed away in September. That was like her favorite place ever. Hopefully Alyssa can add a video of sushi or a picture of her chilling at White Sands because this was her happy place.
Lissa's shaving me because we don't have a mirror. I was trying to use the phone, it wasn't working great. Okay, I got my own little barber with me.